anticoagulants. You will see them daily in clinicals and they are high alert on the NCLEX. Heparin and warfarin both prevent clots, but if you give them the wrong way or skip key safety teachings, your patient can bleed out. So what makes them different? And why are they often given together? Heparin and warfarin are both anticoagulants, but they work very differently. Heparin is fast acting and given subcutaneously or intravenously. It works immediately and is used for acute situations like preventing clot extension in a DVT or after an MI. Warfarin, also called Coumadin, is a slow acting oral anticoagulant. It takes two to three days to reach its therapeutic effect and works on the extrinsic pathway of coagulation. This is why we often start both medications at the same time. And then once warfarin reaches a therapeutic INR, heparin is then stopped. Both drugs are used prophylactically in patients undergoing surgeries like total knee replacements, to prevent DVTs. And then when it comes to patient education, you want to share the following information. Use a soft toothbrush, no razors with blades, avoid straining during bowel movements, and report any signs of bleeding immediately. As a nurse, you want to monitor the INR for warfarin and PTT for heparin. If you guys comment anticoagulant down below, I will send you the anticoagulant cheat sheet with drug comparisons, lab values, and patient teaching tips.